chapter of what has been a remarkable story is now underway. Seven minutes away from Olympic history. We have Great Britain's Helen Glover, Heather standing in lane at number three. Alongside them, Australia, Kate Halsey and Sarah Tain. And the world champions from New Zealand are in five. But already now, Great Britain have absolutely jumped out of the starting gate. Romania in one. Romania are the defending Olympic champions. We've got Andrew Nietzsche in the bow seat of that group. Five-time Olympic champion. But Great Britain, while they mean business, it's game on. Well, the Germans have gone out fast as well. Closest to us in lane six. They've got the early lead, but I don't expect them to hold that. But look how they're already stretching out. Great Britain looking fine. They're settling into their rhythm, middle, middle of the race rhythm. Quick look across there, and already they've moved out in front. They've got the Olympic, twice Olympic champions from Romania up in lane one, who are now back in, lane, in, in fourth place. But Great Britain doing what they've done for the last two years, just looking fantastic. And what they've done, look at that, already a leg. And what they do so well now, what they've learned in the last winter, was to be flexible, to be able to respond to the attack that comes right at the end, and which caught them out last year at the World Championships when New Zealand attacked them right at the end. But this is fantastic. Look at them. It's an exceptional start now from Helen Glover and Heather Stanning Glover from Minerva Bar Rowing Club and Heather Stanning from Yeovil from Army Rowing Club. They are just storming away in the first quarter. It's absolutely wonderful to see. So 500, the crowd down here have gone mad. They are now clear. There is clear water on Great Britain as they head towards the record books. But right now they will be, that will all be irrelevant to them. It's about dictating and executing their plan. We thought it was really important to show you the way that the women started that race. Incredibly dominant, and guess what? The pattern continued. The length clear by 500 metres, as you've just seen, but being chased really hard by Australia and New Zealand. However, the pace from the British women was simply unrelenting. Look at this, being spurred on by the citrus and passionate partisan crowd. 